Hello, my name is David Ehrenberg, and I'm the Executive Director of Arizona Tenants Union. That's tenantsunion.net. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about repairs. If you have repair issues with your apartment, there are, the Landlord-Tenant Act provides four distinct remedies. The first remedy that it provides is, in the case of a minor repair, the right to use half your rent money or $300, whichever is greater, to make the repair. Now, that requires a, that a 10-day notice be given to the landlord. The notice has to be given in such a way that you can prove the landlord received it. So we generally recommend the tenants use certified mail. Certified mail is deemed delivered five days after it's been mailed. Uh, you can also serve it by email if you want to, but it'll only work if the landlord emails you back. Then he'll have uh, uh, you'll have the evidence that he read the, the email. The nice thing about this strategy is that you will get the repair done. But the problem with the strategy is that the only repairs you can get done are very minor repairs. Uh, for more serious repairs, unfortunately, even though the Landlord-Tenant Act does provide uh, stringent requirements on landlords uh, to make the mi minor repairs have to be made within 10 days, Repairs uh, uh, affecting uh, health and safety have to be made within five days. But the problem is that the, the Landlord-Tenant Act doesn't have uh, very many teeth to uh, enforce these uh, requirements. So one way that you can try to enforce the requirement is by uh, commencing litigation against the landlord, trying to get an injunction. That'll cost you, you know, $2,500 in legal fees and take, you know, six months um, obviously, it's a meaningless remedy. Uh, the second uh, method that the Landlord-Tenant Act prescribes, and this one can be a little more meaningful, is to have a city inspector come out, cite the violation, and then order the landlord to make the repair. The problem is that this, too, can take time. Uh, it's a cumbersome bureaucratic process. And there are only four cities in Arizona that have how, uh, uh, rental codes, Phoenix, Tucson, Tempe and Glendale. There are no rental standards in any of the other cities in Arizona that the inspectors can use to cite against. So unless you live in one of those four cities, it's not a meaningful remedy. And even if you do live in one of those four cities, uh, as I said, it's bureaucratic and it's cumbersome. And then the final way that you can uh, uh, effectuate, well, that you can get relief from the situation is to terminate your lease. Lease termination is a complicated, uh, it's complicated, it, it's the subject of a whole discussion which I will do in another one of these YouTube videos. Uh, let me just say that we have a love-hate relationship with, with this break lease uh, because on one hand it really is the most effective uh, remedy that a tenant has. But the problem is that what the remedy does is to let the landlord off the hook. It doesn't actually result in enforcing the landlord to maintain the, the building as he is required to do. It simply uh, lets the tenant out of the lease uh, if the landlord doesn't make the repairs. This discussion that I'm having now, as I said, is not sufficient for you to simply may ask the landlord for repairs and then break your lease. There will be other uh, uh, discussions of break lease in this series of YouTube videos. We at Arizona Tenants Union are trying to build a tenants movement, and we en encourage you to join. Uh, our membership dues are $60 a year, and they can be paid in monthly $5 installments. If, when it came time to renew your lease, the landlord, you would be willing to pay the landlord an extra $5 a month to live in the apartment, then you should be willing to pay us $5 a month because we're the people who will represent you against the landlord. We are the tenants movement in Arizona. You've reached the offices of Arizona Tenants Union. We know how fun it is each an answering machine instead of a real person. It's just that we're unbelievably busy. There's no shortage of bad landlords in Arizona. Please leave a message and we will get back to you.